Well, everyone, you might be having a situation with your Xbox One where for some reason the USB ports aren't working on your machine. Now, what does this mean? Well, essentially, maybe you're trying to go ahead and use some external drives. Maybe you're plugging in some chargers and trying to charge your controllers, whatever the case is. Now, the first thing I would recommend kind of taking a look at is making sure that your specific Xbox One is completely plugged in and making sure that it has proper, you know, power coming to it. There are some times where maybe you're plugging in your Xbox One, you know, charging cables or whatever, and potentially your Xbox One's not even plugged in. So just make sure that's the case. The next thing, make sure your Xbox One is powered on. If your Xbox One is not powered on, sometimes it may not be able to discover those external drives or the chargers. So just go ahead and power on your Xbox One as well. Now, another thing I would recommend taking a look at here as well is making sure that your Xbox One is fully compatible with whatever chargers and or whatever, you know, controllers or whatever the case, whatever you're trying to charge, you want to make sure it's compatible with your Xbox One. Most of the time, if you're using a charger, it's going to be perfectly fine. Like if you're charging your controllers, there's no reason why it wouldn't work. But if you're trying to connect, let's say, like an Xbox Series X or S controller to your Xbox One, or if you're trying to pair up a phone and you're trying to use it a wired method, you need to look at the instructions on what you're going to be doing, because chances are it may not even be a problem with the wire or your Xbox One. It may be a problem with how you're trying to set those things up. There are some external drives that may not be compatible with Xboxes either. So if you're trying to connect to an external hard drive or SSD, whatever, just make sure that you're properly plugging it in, and that can help alleviate some of these issues as well. Now, on top of that, another situation that you might be in for the most part is trying to make sure that your Xbox One is not having an issue with that wire. Sometimes the wire may be an issue with those USB ports and it may not be the USB port in and of itself. So just make sure that wire is perfectly running and that can help alleviate some of these issues too. And those are pretty much the main ways to do it. You can also try updating your Xbox One, but those are pretty much the main ways to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.